packed house, huh? Full nice. standing room only. This is good. Um, so yeah, we were fortunate enough to uh, come up with this collection, uh, Eclectic, and uh, we come up with collections twice a year. So it's not always easy coming up with two collections every year because it's there's a lot of pressure in doing it. And we're always constantly trying to, you know, stimulate and create something new. But when we try to create collections, we try to let them happen uh, organically. So it's an intuitive process. We put a lot of ourselves into what it is that we're creating. So with Eclectic and you know, sort of just focusing on millennials. Um, it was just something that we started to really notice. I mean, life has changed so much within the past, you know, five to ten years. And that's, you know, due to technology. But that's not only because technology kind of happened on its own. It's also because this group of people have changed the way technolo technology is used. So it's something that's very, very parallel. And that's, you know, that struck a chord with us. And, we start to sort of like dive into it a little bit more. I think for us also, we could see the connection when obviously we all get into rabbit holes on the internet and you start to watch and you start to look at things, especially when it came to hair, we saw tutorials where people were amazing at doing hair. And you're trying to figure out like their, their own personal style was amazing as well. And they seem so educated in hair. And it seems to be like the amount of likes, the amount of hits that people were getting. Obviously, other people were looking, and other people were sharing, and other people were styling. So all of a sudden, there was this revolution of like personal styling, no labels, hair that was like just not the norm. So we tried to sort of delve into that a little bit more, and sort of look at like how we could repurpose certain things, like belt buckles, leather, uh, certain pins, and how we could actually style hair in a way that you guys could take it and make it your own also. So we only sort of set up this collection in a sense of from the fun that we had, mm -hmm. from what we had taken as inspiration who were millennials. And then we sort of created these styles that are sort of clever little styles and little shapes of using simple things to create something new to the eye, but also something that hopefully then you can have fun creating and styling yourselves. Absolutely. And that's really the, the basis of it is how it was, you know, it's but the, the fact of the matter is that there's you know there's so many looks within the collection, and we try to make each one sort of unique and stand out on its own. So it, it it kind of sort of lives on its own, but it's part of a big family. And that is also Justine explained it really really well. Um, and it's 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 so much about self expression, so much about an individuality. You know, it's like you guys are setting your own trends. You know, we follow trends, but you're also setting your own, and that's the parallel of what's happening today. So is you know are millennials affect you know influencing technology or is technology influencing millennial because there's a parallel happening there and also with tattoos for example the tattoos really kind of came back and, and hit hard haven't they in the past ten to fifteen years right there's a it's not by coincidence you know so it's this it's sort of this mindset that has been growing and growing and growing so it's um, it, it's this parallel between the self-expression, individuality, and it's this, it's this way of communicating oneself. So we found that really, really mm, it's yeah. interesting. It's very, very interesting. Um, and that's where we kind of you know, got into it that way. So, so I, think, I think for you guys, I think we didn't put any haircuts in this collection because we got so sort of stuck into actually styling hair. Next collection, obviously, we'll have packed with the haircuts again. But you know what? As a hairdresser, I think one of the biggest things that we all need to have is to be as rounded as possible. And if you can style hair and cut hair and shape hair and, and perm hair and do whatever you can do with hair right now, because things are happening at such a fast pace, and especially with these millennials that are there, who knows what they'll want next? Look at color the way it's gone. So like, what we really have to do here is to be as rounded and as skillful as we can over the next few years. We try and keep up with this pace that's so fast. Especially with all these online tutorials. Right? Yes, yes, yeah. yeah. Everybody's teaching them how to do hair. I'm online too. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, you know, they're teaching you how to, you know, do hair, how to like melt hair off with a curling iron. Yeah. Right? <laughs> That's the best one. So you're seeing it all. But, you know, there, then once again, it's all about this, you know, it's all about this. I mean, we have a platform now, don't we? Yeah. Right? Everybody has a platform. Everybody can communicate. Everybody can say what they want to say. So, we didn't have that years ago. No, we didn't have that. No, we didn't have that at all. We used to like write it on paper, put it in a bottle, and just throw it in the ocean. <laughs>
<laughs> so listen guys, I hope you enjoy Eclectic. Um, have fun with it when you go back to the salon or wherever you are, I really do. I hope you sort of just take it to the next level. Uh, we had a great time uh, coming up with the collection ourselves, so uh, I think that's really it. Christine is doing an amazing job. What can we say? Yeah, she's, she's great. She's covered all the bases, so yeah, please enjoy. Okay, take care. <laughs> Thank you guys, that was a really great explanation um, of what they did.